My once great house was thrown into chaos when my father made the greatest mistake of them all. He chose the losing side. My father and mother were executed. The only thing that saved my life was my recent marriage to the House of Hightower. Our lands were stripped and I was exiled from Westeros. I have returned many years later with an elite band of mercenaries ready to take vengeance on the Seven Kingdoms. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome to our brand new campaign on Trials of the Seven, the Game of Thrones modification for Mountain Blade to a Bannerlord. If you guys have never heard of this Game of Thrones mod before, basically what it does is it completely changes the campaign map to Westeros and Essos, adds in hundreds of new armors, hundreds of new units, uh, adds in all the famous houses, we've got custom keeps in, uh, there's a new way of actually starting your campaign where you can start as a kingdom, you can start start with land, you can start with troops, start with money, start with marriages, and so much more. This is probably one of the best mods we have out right now, and in the 1.6.4 update, the mod has never been more stable, which is super important, especially for a campaign like this. I will mention this though, uh, before we do get started, this campaign will transition into a live stream campaign, just like I do with pretty much all my Life of a series. Um, so if you guys are enjoying this, make sure you go ahead and continue to watch this over in the live stream. We're continuing this on tomorrow if you're watching this of the day of release. But don't worry, if you are not watching this the day of release, uh, uh, you guys can go ahead and just catch them all down below in the playlist and kind of just get through them that way. Uh, I, I tend just to stick stuff like that on two times speed and just sit back and enjoy the ride. So it's a great way of if you can't make the live streams, you can still check out the entire campaign. So no need to worry there. So as you guys will have seen a little bit of our backstory from that intro cinematic that I put together, we are we, we were one of the great houses of Westeros. However, my father chose wrong in the Civil War and unfortunately my house was exiled, my parents were executed and it was only because of my loving dear wife Era Hightower who kept me alive. Her father managed to wrangle our exile and we were sent off to Essos. However, I have returned. I have returned with an army of Unsullied ready to wreak havoc on the Seven Kingdoms. Now, I'm not going to be obviously declaring war on everybody right off the bat. That's not the plan. The plan is to basically go ahead dive in and we're just gonna like play the great houses off against one another join as a mercenary in some wars switch sides make money you know make a name for ourselves and then look to take over the great kingdoms and i think that'll be a really fun way of doing it i have a ton of mods on i'll go ahead and put up my mod list on your screen right now if you're looking to get a more detailed picture of this mod list you can go ahead and join my discord link to that down below in the description it's just up there and then my discord is also a great place to kind of find out um, to get help with installing these mods and so on and so on. You can obviously also join the Trials of the Seven Discord. Um, but yeah, go ahead and do that. I've got a ton of mods on. Uh, mods, obviously, Trials of the Seven. We've got mods to go ahead and completely revamp the way battles work. My god, battles are awesome. With a realistic battle mod, we have stuff that improves spears. So spears are actually as deadly as they should be now. So my Unsullied, who are equipped with a spear, will actually be you know, doing just as well as any other unit. Uh, we have mods that go ahead and allow me to change my banners. Mods that allow me to have companions and troops actually become companions. And all the members can name them. We also have a few members already in the game uh, right here. Uh, as you can see, I think someone right here is going to be a member. Uh, I think I renamed, yeah, there you go, Damian Lannister. I actually renamed Kevin Lannister. So that's a kind of a little perk that all the members do go ahead and get. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this bad boy off. We start off with 50k, but we are bleeding 1300 gold right off the bat due to us having a pretty gnarly army of Unsullied. So let's go ahead and just maybe hunt down these 12 uh, poor looters. Because I want to maybe jump into a battle right away. Then we're going to return back to Castle Rock, uh, where we've kind of landed uh, to uh, to maybe buy some equipment, maybe fight in a tournament or two. And uh, yeah, then from then on, we're basically going to be looking for a, a, a war that we can join. Generally, wars do erupt pretty quickly in the Seven Kingdoms. So ideally, we'll be joining that. And we are also uh, playing as a Westerland, kind of that's my background, that's my culture which gives us actually a 15% boost on all money we get from being a mercenary. So it'll be a great way to kind of play these two sides off against one another and really kind of bring them down a notch you know, until we get strong enough, until I'm confident enough to really push out and take the enemies down. 
Okay, so here we go. Also, you can see the banner right here as well. I went ahead and stole this actually from the Trials of the Seven Discord. They have a cool old banner section right there. Uh, some of the other mods that I am using obviously adds in loads of different banners. As you can see, looking very awesome indeed. Um, and yeah, I might, I might adjust my banner now and again throughout the campaign if I find something I really, really do like. But here we go, my Unsullied. I mean, I guess the blue doesn't really suit the Unsullied. But that's kind of the, the whole point of the campaign is that we've kind of come from, uh, we've kind of come from Essos, you know. I went off and I, I managed to make enough money for myself and I brought these guys over uh, ready to, uh, to take down the enemy. You know, I, obviously I couldn't really, you know, I had to kind of thumb these troops this way. Uh, so let's just move forward. We'll obviously get Eero to follow me. I will keep you close, my love. And something we're going to need to re like invest in kind of early. I think we're going to need to pick up some workshops, maybe with the Westlands. Maybe we can try and buy one of the workshops in Casterly Rock so we can start getting that passive income in because we honestly, we don't obviously own any castles or anything or any cities to kind of give us that money. So maybe buying a few workshops with our initial 50k uh, so we can actually start paying for this army. Um, as well as that, I am also using Serb as a soldier as well. So that's a mod that allows me, we'll just charge off here as well. Oh my god, look at them javelins! The Unsullied are brutal! Uh, and there you go, the enemy are already breaking uh, right there, uh, which is nice. We'll kind of bring down these looters, they don't stand a chance. Oh, you're friendly. And there you go. Victory is ours. I uh, tried to use the dismemberment mod in this playthrough as well, but unfortunately, it doesn't work with RTS camera, which is such an integral part of my mod list um, that, unfortunately, uh, yeah, I couldn't bring that one. But a nice little victory there. I'll take that. But yeah, as I was saying, I, I think our initial kind of setup, we need to probably... I'm gonna, we'll take a prisoner. Uh, we'll probably need to try and grab up some... Uh, some uh, some things that we can use to make us money because yeah we're only kind of substantial for 50 days in this campaign obviously we'll gain money and be a mercenary will really help but that is something we need to be very careful of um, and as, as I was saying as well before I interrupted myself uh, we do have serve as a soldier on as well so that's a mob that allows me to join any army so if we end up losing a battle and kind of losing my mercenaries I'm more than happy to then join uh, you know, one of the enemy lords and kind of serve as a soldier in his army, raise my way through the ranks, which will hopefully make kind of these beginning couple episodes really exciting because there's loads of things that we can do. Oh, yeah. Also, I completely forgot to mention this is our house. We are Montanimius uh, Uricas. These are named after two of uh, my extremely generous Patreons on the channel. They donated a crazy uh, amount of money. So massive shout out to Monty and Uruk. Uh, you guys uh, went above and beyond. And this is literally the least I could do. So we are of House Uricas. And uh, yeah, that is, this is our character right here. I will also be naming a few of my children after them as well. I am sure to say thank you, uh, which yeah, is amazing. Um, and yeah, this is our house right now. We have two children who are, I think, around about 10 years old. They'll age up fairly quickly. And we'll have to do that. We've also got my wife as well, who is close to... Oh my god, she's not too good. She's cruel. She's impulsive. Hey, the world made us this way. We're already clan rank one as well. And then character-wise, this is kind of my setup right now. Four points in vigor, four in endurance, four in social, and three in intellect. And you can see with Trials of the Seven, depending on your stats, you basically start off with a bunch of points in, a, in all of these, which is nice. So your character isn't just trash right off the bat. And you can kind of get to these late game bonuses as quickly as possible. So there's no tournament of Castle Rock, but let's see if there's any good items we can pick up uh, right off the bat. So uh, we have the Viserys Targaryen Dagger. So yeah, I'm probably not going to be buying a ton of like super OP equipment because for some reason all this equipment is so goddamn cheap. I think there's been a little bit of a bug in the most recent version. And as you can see, like eight, 1600 for this helmet, you know, that's, that's way too cheap. Um, so what I might be doing is I might be kind of just giving up some of my money uh, and buying some of this stuff a little bit later on or getting most of my equipment from like drops and also from tournaments. Um, I think that's probably the better way of doing it because yeah, for some reason the, uh, the actual kind of prices of the equipment seems all out of whack right now in this update and until they fix that it feels a little bit cheesy buying like the best armor in the game right off the bat even though we are super rich um so actually let's go back uh because i don't think there's any wars going on right now right westlands aren't a war of anybody um which is fine the reach are not a war of anybody but reach only go to war with the uh the dornish pretty quickly uh the iron islands are just chilling the veil 
uh, aren't doing too good uh, on a warrior but yeah. So yeah, let's do that. And also, let's maybe go ahead and take a look at uh, Castle Rock. So what's around Castle Rock? We have sheep, we have grapes, and we also have fish. Okay. So getting a wool weaver in Castle Rock is probably going to make us an absolute ton of money. Uh, really, really is. Uh, so let's maybe go and just buy one up. Uh, let's go ahead and visit this guy. This is like the quickest way to get to a workshop. And let's spend some of that money right off the bat. Uh, picking this up because I think it'll be very important to kind of get these workshops up and running. I also have taken uh, the trade. Uh, I've also taken the trade perks that actually make my workshops make us a lot more money. There's actually already a wool weaver here. So it's already pre-existing, which is great. So let's head our way over there. We'll play on triple speed. Um... And we'll make our way, yeah, into here. I want to buy this workshop. And I really can't wait until Tailworlds go back and revamp the, like, building management and, like, workshops and stuff. Because they can make this stuff really, really cool. Um, and they just haven't. So, uh, hopefully, they go in the future, they go back and do this. Um, because, yeah, this stuff could be really cool. The kingdom management and, your know, buildings and workshops and, like, getting proficiency and actually having to get supplies and stuff. That'd be so much fun and actually having um and actually having like uh like companions like managing it and actually having like them having to go out and actually buy supplies and stuff could be really cool. Also, we just leveled up as well, uh, which is quite a nice way of doing it. How do we even level up? Um but I'll take it. We've got another focus point. As you can see, we're kind of a bit over <laughs> we're a bit like over qualified for our skills right now. Um, I mean, stewardship is great. I've already taken the one that you know allows less food consumption, and we also don't get a, a morale penalty. Morale penalties are pretty important in this mod uh, because we're using realistic battle. It basically means, and we'll put, probably put another point in leadership. It basically means that um, we have to be very, very careful uh, because our, our army will rout if we're if we're not uh, cautious. So let's head our way down. I want to kind of go into the open areas and go off to King's Landing if we want to, and I can actually show off one of the new keeps in there as well. But yeah, right now I'm basically be looking for like tournaments to, to participate in so we could maybe try and get ourselves a, a new kind of equipment that uh, would be great until the walls start because as soon as the walls start we're going to be diving in uh, and yeah just really trying to get ourselves stuck in also a few of my children actually do need guidance uh so with my child uh, i probably want to make like yeah i probably want to make one into like a good fighter and one into a uh one into like more of a steward type character um so he has good control and cunning right now. Um, so, I mean, I guess we'll make him into a, a military guy. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and we'll give him pole arm training. Or two-handed is also quite nice. Let's give him pole arm training because if he's going to be on horseback, it's probably going to be the case. So it's our first child. And our second one hasn't come of age yet. Okay, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, he's gained some more experience there, which is all good. Oh, I also have a really cool mod on as well, uh, which goes ahead and adds in. You can see all the, the, the huge armies. This mod does huge armies uh, to no end. You can see 500 soldiers. I can already recruit 180 if I want to. Uh, it's just whether or not I can pay them. Uh, which is also, you know, something in this mod. Uh, but yeah, one of the great things I've been doing recently is I've been giving you options to really tailor your campaign. Whenever you start a campaign in this, you can decide how many troops you start with, what clan tier, what castles you start with, if you want any, who you're married to, which is always really awesome. Like, I love the choice that we get in them campaign. Like, I, I love that choice factor. And hopefully they'll give us the same choice factor in, um, in like, troop, like, kind of clan sizes and how fast your troops level up and and, you know how many soldiers you can have like I really hope they give you the choice of that so that players can just edit it because I think yeah, that's really good this is this is a sandbox game and that's how things should be but let's throw forward our unsullied again not gonna be a hard battle whatsoever but it's you know these small ones are quite good just to kind of get in the theme of things whilst we're looking for a tournament it's a little bit of money some experience and we can go from there obviously we really do not want to lose uh, we really, really, really do not want to lose any Unsullied here because there's pretty much no way I can get them back unless I go all the way over to Essos, uh, which is br pretty brutal. And one of the things I would love to see in this mod as well is like the ability of oh them javelins is the ability to like recruit all of these units, like to go off and like maybe there's like a slave trader in calf that you go over and you're like, hey, I would like to buy 50 Unsullied and they're like super expensive. And you just kind of get 50 on Sully that way. Like, that'd be a really cool way. Or like, I, oh, I want to hire the Golden Company. I mean, you get, you know, 100, you know, soldiers from the Golden Company. But, you know, the, the, the price is really expensive for them. I and mean, their upkeep is kind of disgusting as well. Like, I think that would be a really kind of cool way of approaching it in the future. Um, 
which would be great. Nice. Oh, we got a cloak. Cool. I'll take that. Boom, boom, boom. A cloak right off the bat. Also a uh, a Night's Watch hood as well. Hey, we're looking pretty dope already. And obviously, I'll take the rest of the food. I actually probably need to go buy some more food as well because we have 70 soldiers. So that's something that we're going to need to uh, to, to think about. Um, and yeah, basically, we're just like look, kind of looking for a tournament. Let's go to High Garden uh, for now and maybe pick up some food. Uh, because I imagine High Garden will be uh, rich with it. I mean, as I said, we have, we have a lot of money. We're losing money very quickly. So we need to get this mercenary company up and running ASAP. Again, they probably have some really nice armor. Yeah, Blackfriar Helm. Uh, we could just, oh man, we look awesome with this armor on. But I just feel like it's a little bit like cheeky buying this stuff because it's, it's way too cheap and we need to kind of get them other way. I mean, oh, looks cool. I mean, we look a bit chubby there. God damn. Some veil plate guard as well. Whew. We'll just walk around like this. We are, we have no underwear on, but this is how we roll. I mean, something like this necessarily wouldn't be bad. But yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll just win this stuff in battles and tournaments. I think that's the best way to outfit myself because episode one being in like the best armor would be a little bit cheeky. We can also uh, do some smithing stuff as well. We actually have war hammers in this mob, which look awesome. Uh, so you actually make some like really cool war hammers, uh, which we're going to try and like level up to at some point. Because I wouldn't mind equipping myself like this bad boy running in and just smashing people down. So what I might try and do is I might try and do some of these missions as well. Because we already have 100 smithing on our main character. Um, so I might try and yeah, do this stuff later on down the line. Um, because yeah, you can forge some really cool equipment, uh, which is nice. But yeah, I, I think our main goal will be waiting for a war and then just attacking caravans. That'll be our way of making money in the early game. That and obviously, oh, there's a tournament here, perfect. That and obviously fighting in tournaments is also a good idea because I have also uh, got the perk as well that allows me to uh, to double my betting on tournaments. And this is my setup on di difficulty as well. Um, so I'm basically playing on the hardest difficulty and everything besides recruitment. Because everybody has such high party sizes, recruitment uh, on easiest is kind of how you have to play. Um, so wait until daytime and we'll jump into this tournament. And uh, yeah, hopefully get ourselves stuck in. Another thing I have on, uh, I'll mention this as well, is I have a very cool mod that allows me to basically always fight in daytime. I can like set the time. Oh no, I was hoping for like some Game of Thrones clothes, but I guess not. Um, I, I have, I have uh, yeah, a mod that allows me to always set the time uh, no matter what. So we're basically always going to be fighting around like midday, which should hopefully make this uh, campaign way more visible for you guys because YouTube does not do a good job of... Uh, making it clear for you guys in night battles like it really pixelated pixelated the crap out of the campaign uh, so hopefully that'll make it a little bit more viewable oh no our first guy went down i'm coming do i have a sword as well i don't i mean they're basically a one shot and you guys will notice as soon as we become a mercenary and we start fighting in these big battles, uh, you guys will really notice how awesome realistic battle mod is. Because we've been using it uh, throughout the campaign uh, on my test playthroughs. And it's just been absolutely amazing. No, I just hit my own Salid. And with the mod setup we have as well, whenever anybody in my army gets five kills... Uh, you could be so basically when any of the unsullied get five kills they then become a companion with distinguished service which again is an amazing mod and basically then i will name all them uh, companions after you guys so all the members will be able to get their characters in the game uh and if you want to become a member you can hit that join button below the stream you get a bunch of benefits um and it's a great way of supporting the channel and you can become a member for as little as two dollars it's a great way of showing support to the channel um but also the best way to show support to the channel is by just dropping a like down below watching these uh, campaigns the whole way through to boost the watch time and obviously commenting and liking um so i appreciate all you guys who uh, go ahead and do that that's just a little extra thank you for the uh, the members you guys get to name characters when we get them okay we're in the final right now i completely forgot to bet on myself as well um we're in the final that's not a bad return 1600 if we win this tournament is not bad you'll see my cape and my night's watch helmet and this guy shouldn't have that crazy uh, armor on. Or that crazy uh, melee skills. Because he is just a archer. So his like fighting capabilities shouldn't be that great. Just a Tyro archer. So he is uh, giving me a run for my money right now. 
Okay, 40 damage. He really is uh, not giving up. It's not the hardest fight yet. Luckily, though, his shield didn't make it over to the left-hand side. And boom, just like that, we've managed to win that. We have a heavy lamina vest. Uh, not very Game of Thrones. <laughs> Some of the fun things you can also win in this campaign, which is hilarious, is you can actually also uh, win, like, John, like the hairstyles. So you can get, like, Jon Snow's hair. So it's almost like buy buying some, like, uh, Gamer Girl bathtub water. Uh, but instead, we, we win Jon, Jon Snow's hair. Uh, oh, there's a Dava Seaworth, uh, Seaworth there as well. And you'll notice there's a bunch of custom characters that I've, I've imported into the game uh, for all the King and Lord level members as well. So you'll see them uh, throughout the campaign as well. Uh, a lot of them were in like pre-existing houses because I didn't want to like rename any houses uh, in this campaign because I didn't think that would be, uh, you know, that great. Oh, we also have the Blackfish here as well running around. God, he is going fast. Look at him run for an old man. That's not bad. Um, we also have our children. Nice, our children have come of age as well. So we have our other son. This is my other son, right? Yeah, this is my other son. He's got point and cunning. Um... I mean, his other stats really, like, I guess this guy will be probably my steward. Yeah, that's his first for knowledge, and we'll go stewardship. Uh, engineering is also great as well. Uh, but yeah, he'll be like someone, he'll, this son will be like my son who stays at home, and he governs the provinces, uh, which I think is, is a great way of doing things. Oh, we also have some Baratheon recruits. Do we want to expand our army? I don't think we really do. Like, our army's already pretty good, but we could also then upgrade these guys into, like, Baratheon horses, which wouldn't be bad. Getting, like, the elite Baratheon mounted stags would be nice. And, like, it's awesome, like, fury stags here. The pitch is a little bit uh, glitchy, but that's fine. Again, we have our other son. Um, right, or is this the same son? Oh, this is the same son. Okay, so we just got both the events in one go. Okay, that's fine. So I think sharp mind? Uh, or intelligence. First for knowledge. God, his intell intellect is only one. That's not good. Uh, we'll boost his intellect for sure. Uh, and then probably put a point in engineering. Trade is also not a bad stat to have. I think engineering is good or stewardship. Yeah, let's actually just bump stewardship again. Okay, good. This will be my uh, son. He has awful vigor as well. Uh, so it's probably for the best. And now we've got another you know, tournament to dive into. And hopefully the, the wars are up because I would love to get a good old big battle. Here we go. We've got hedge knight gloves. 15 armor. Uh, tier 2. I'll take it. And we need to make sure we bet on ourselves the whole way through because I need some money. That is for sure. And who is... I've got an, uh, an Andal soldier. Okay, so this is kind of a default soldier. Doesn't matter if there's anyone too crazy in this tournament. Or at least in this round of the tournament. I mean, that guy looks pretty scary. The guy I'm fighting right now. But I managed to bring him down. Awesome. Okay, not bad. Yeah, look at him run indeed. I also kind of like... Oh, I forgot to bet on myself. I also kind of like the uh, the setup that we have going for ourselves right now because, like, we are in exile still, kind of. Uh, we've got kind of got, like, this big hood on as well. I kind of like that. And you'll notice the AI is a little bit better in one-on-one -on -one duels as well. You can see he'll be, he'll be blocking a lot more, uh, fainting a bit more as well uh, with the higher stats that they have just solely because uh, I've got the realistic battle mod on. So uh, in battle, the AI is way more likely to like use their shield rather than just like minusly swing, which is good. And good job, the Andal Soldier sticking well. We'll go all the way to the final, baby. I I'm actually having to fight them right now. Uh, make sure we bet on ourselves as well. And you can see that bandit perk allowing us to bet double is really coming in clutch right now. Oh, that was such a good one-two combo. I hit him on the side, staggered him, and just stabbed him in the face. Absolutely brutal. I really hope uh, one day we get, like, joust and stuff in the tournament. Again, the tournament system is a system that Tailworlds could really make very exciting. Like, have a whole, like, leaderboard and, like, renowned and, like, big tournaments. I think, though, that they, what they've something they need to really do uh, is, like, bring back feasts and stuff and, like, have lords travel to lands and... Because uh, right now, like, I feel like fighting nobodies is just, like, not as exciting. They should make, like, well, you could have, like, these minor tournaments. And then you have, like, a major tournament, maybe, where all the lords of the realm come. And it would be, it'd be really cool. It would be really, really cool. Um, and you have to fight, like, all the other lords with really good stats and armor. And, like, that would be dope. 
Uh, okay, well, these gloves seem pretty messed up, but we'll wear them for now. Uh, yeah, them gloves uh, are, are a little bit little bit messed up. We also have this laminar armor, which I guess we'll wear. Again, we've kind of come from the east, so that makes sense. Uh, we'll, we'll hold that up, and we'll, we'll get rid of all these shields, make a little bit of money there. Yeah, our workshop's making us about 100 gold right now. Not exactly great, but hey, there's 100 less gold we have to pay. And these tournaments are paying themselves uh, quite nicely. We're getting armor, we're getting upgrades, uh, and so on. And you know, whilst we wait for the walls to erupt, um, you know, that's just something that we're going to have to do. Is there, any, is there a quick way to, for me to, like, find the wars that are going on? Um, I guess not really. We just have to keep on checking. Because I can't check the diplomacy screen. I guess things do become a little bit more difficult. And yeah, they're just basically fighting all the... Yeah, they're just basically fighting all the mercenary clans and bandit clans and stuff like that. There are also something we can do as well. There are a lot of fen hideouts for some reason. There's a lot of like wildling hideouts around Old Town. So we might actually end up heading down there uh, to, to maybe kill some of them uh, and clear out a few of the uh, the hideouts that they have. So here we go. This is King's Landing. No tournament on in King's Landing at the moment. Uh, you can also recruit King's Guard from King's Landing as well, which is pretty incredible. Uh, we can't go to the keep at the moment. That's a shame. Um, maybe we'll wait for someone to actually go in. Is anyone in the keep? Because King's Landing now has its own custom... Its own custom keep, which is really exciting. So what I might do is I might just wait outside King's Landing really quickly. In the hopes that someone... Will, did Sadava Seawolf just go in? He did. Cool. Uh, so we'll borrow our way, our way into the keep. Uh, oh, you can hold feasts as well now. Yeah. Uh, again, which is quite cool. Uh, feast inventory. I have no idea. I've got this mod on, but I've never used it before. Uh, but either way, we're going to go to the Lord's Hall, and I'll show you guys the custom interior. So right now, there's four custom interiors for the mod. Uh, there's King's Landing. There's, uh, there's Castle Black. There's... Uh, what else is it? It's Castle Black, King's Landing. Um... Somewhere in the north has it as well. Yeah, Winterfell has it. And then there's another one I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, but they're really cool. And hopefully, eventually as well, they can add these and keep battles as well. Because it'd be great, like, taking King's Landing and then having a last stand. Uh, you know, fighting the Kingsguard in, uh, in, the, in the rock. And here we go. This is going to be my... Uh, me one day, but in better armor. I will be conquering this land. And you guys will all be bending the knee to me. And then Jackie wakes up from his dream. <laughs> and then we leave. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, again, any... I mean, is there... We should maybe buy some horses. Could be not a bad idea to maybe grab up some extra horses. Maybe some step war horses. We have the money, so... Let's do that. And again, armor's just too cheap to really exploit that. Yeah, it's just way, way too cheap. Um, so, we, again, we're not gonna, we're not going to use that. I'll buy food, I'll buy tools, and other stuff like that. All that velvet is super cheap. We could also do some some trading as well. Not be a bad idea. Oh my god, Castle Rock are buying these tools for 400 gold. Hopefully, that rumor is correct. Uh, I'm gonna buy them. So, I bought them for what 200? Like, basically 200. So, 2500. And let's head our way to Castle Rock and, and see. Oh, also, something as well I need to make sure I do is what is Era's? Era has 41 stewardship. I have 80. Era good at anything else? She can be my surgeon. Try and keep my boys alive. Let's head our way back over to Castle Rock, obviously fighting tournaments as we go. There's a few of the Tullys there as well. You guys can see River Run. Looking very nice indeed. Oh yeah, and Dragonstone. Dragonstone is the uh, last settlement that has, uh, that has custom interiors. Again, the Dragonstone one looks really good. The cool thing as well about the throne room, which I didn't really even show you guys, is that you actually look out of it and you can kind of see other parts of the town. Oh my god, my rumors, they lied to me. What the hell? Oh no. Okay, well, we've got, we've got seven tools now. I remember I bought them for 2,500. We'll try and sell them somewhere else. There's Jamie Lannister as well. Why is Jamie Lannister walking on foot? What happened to his horse? You can see him right there. Hello, good sir. How's it going? Okay, we've arrived at High Tower, and it seems like there is a tournament to be had, so we'll be diving in there. Hopefully, some good gear to pick up. Please be in like a nice. There we go, an armored tunic. 40 armor, 25 armor on the legs and the arms. That is something I can get behind. Anyone important here? Reach House Guard. Uh, and no characters again, yeah. 
Oh, it's such a shame. Like, I really think there should be, like, a system where, like, yeah, you have, like, these minor tournaments where people try and make a name for themselves. And when you hit, hit a, re a certain level, when you find, like, these grand tournaments, which are just filled with, like, very good characters and, like, lords. Because, I mean, I'll probably lose now. But, like, yeah, these guys are no challenge for me. Uh, what's up? God damn, I forgot to bet on myself again. Um, is that a king's guard? No, that's the reach guard. Okay. Yeah, like, this guy just does not swing fast enough. He's got... Next to no armor. I'm already through. Yeah, this is like the only scary guy. I probably should have killed him first. Cool. Brought him down. Yeah, I probably should have killed him first if he was out of the tournament, but it's fine. And yeah, man, being able to bet double on yourself is so nice. Nice, already done it. So me versus the house guard in the final, as we expected. Yeah, well, oh, god damn, we are making 2,500 gold. Just that basically pays for our tools that we were we were swindled into buying. Oh my god, he just got the left right good night. Well, boom. Now we have some good armor. The armor tunic V4, like the thing that this has like turrets on the side or something, as it's a V4. And let's see what it looks like. Let's get this bad boy on. Um, there we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Got engraving on the side. Got a nice little bonus right there. We've got some good heart. So already we've got some good armor on. I'll take that. And we can sell this lamina for a thousand gold as well, which we will do. Unfortunately, still can't sell our tools. I mean, I know it was red, but the rumors said, okay. But I guess sometimes the rumors are wrong and let's buy some extra food for our boys as well try and boost this morale up a little bit because yeah having good morale is really important in this mod like really important um so let's just buy maybe a bit of everything 31,000 meters well god damn meters indeed back on the menu i uh, know recruits to be had which is fine and uh yeah i mean we'll go look for another tournament but for the most part it is simply just waiting for a big war to erupt Normally, they, they, they kind of fire pretty quick. Oh, there you go. Ooh, the veil. Okay. Are the Westlands at war? Because Westlands pay more money. Like, the, the, the Lannisters just pay more money. Uh, they're not. So, it's just for Reach versus the veil. Interesting. The veil in this mod are, like, ridiculously strong as well. Their cavalry just dominate the battlefield. So, I might go up there and, and maybe join... Yeah, maybe join the veil. Um, but again, I'm still kind of... Eddard Stark has declared war on the Vale. So the North are also fighting the Vale. And you guys can see the bloody gate right there in the distance uh, past Harrenhal. Interesting. So wars are starting to erupt. I might wait to see because, again, I would love to join the Lannisters in a war because they just pay the most. Um, but let's see how much the... Uh, let's see how much the Tyrells are paying. Let's go to the Red Wines and, uh, yeah. Let's see how much they are willing to pay for me to become a mercenary. Uh, it's 220 gold. That's quite a lot. Let's see how much for Veil. Because again, I'm not I'm not fighting for cheap here. I'm here to make a fortune. I have a, a lot of Unsullied uh, that need to uh, to level up. And basically, my, my main plan in this campaign uh, is to uh, is to like just make my money until I feel strong enough to really push on. Again, yeah, Riverlands aren't a war of anybody yet. Let's see how much for Veil. Are willing to uh, willing to pay. Unfortunately, as well, the bloody gate of a moment doesn't stop you from uh, from going through it, which is a real shame. Hopefully, one day they can figure out how to make that happen because it'd be so awesome if they can. Okay, men of the veil, vale, how much would you pay me? Only 120. That is nothing. I could get double that. Okay, I mean, I guess, I guess that's what we're gonna do. Again, Brafians on a war. So let's go and join the Reach, I guess. Let's go join the Reach as a mercenary. So we can leave at any time in the north also. Could be kind of interesting. Oh my god, Castle Black is under siege as well. Where are we on the map? I just want to see who's sieging it. So let's teleport here. Oh my god, the north of Howland Reed is besieging Castle Black. What the hell? Oh my god, the north need to chill. They're taking back control. I was just curious. So there is also, uh, I believe there's like one White Walker camp out in the like kind of far north uh, where the Night King is. Um, but I think it maybe actually got removed at some point. Uh, but yeah, there is like a camp out there and the wildlings are, you know, are planned for this mod in the future. 
So let's go and join, and then we'll just basically start tr uh, raiding. Uh, then we'll just basically start raiding caravans from the Vale as much as we can. That's the best way to make money. But they're kind of around our size as well, and we're fast enough to actually go ahead and uh, and get them as well. So there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Uh, I want to join Maysarel for a sum. So we actually lost a little bit of money there. That's fine. Okay, I'll accept. Um, yeah, you can count on me, my friend. And again, we're, we're not here to do anything too crazy. Um, and we need to be careful, obviously, because the Vale are pretty scary. We take a look at the army camps now as well. Oh my god, the Vale just have so many men. And I don't really know where they get these men from. The North have like 12,000. Everybody else is like 12,000. Baratheons, like the Lannisters are really strong, which makes sense. Um, the Frey's obviously not. The Night's Watch about to die. Uh, the Iron Islands are really weak at the moment. You know, the Dornish have 14,000. So like all of this stuff like makes sense. I mean, it's just like the Veil, 35,000 men. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's like to do with all their castles or something, but yeah, we'll have to see. And now might be a good time to actually pick up some sol extra soldiers as well. Obviously now we're still paying for all these soldiers, but it might not be a bad idea. Just have a couple. We're going we're gonna to lose soldiers now attacking caravans. Can't afford that guy. That guy costs a grand uh, to recruit, which is just a little bit too much. Obviously, he's bloody tier 7, but, uh, you know, still. So, yeah, basically, we're going to head north. We leveled up again, which is good. Uh, and just keep an eye out for any caravans. I imagine we'll be seeing a lot of Vale caravans coming down the King's Road, which is right here. And we're obviously going to have to try and exploit that as best as we can. Okay, I've made my way up north, and basically what we're going to be doing now is just looking for any caravans that we can raid along the way. We need to be a little bit careful because our army isn't exactly precisely, like, elite enough to deal with caravans. And that might actually hurt us a little bit. There is also another tournament here, which I might just jump into. Uh, I'll definitely have a decent battle, though, before we end the engage before we end the episode, though, so don't need to worry about that. Some armored bearskins, a cape, I'll take it. And also, we can obviously use this to, uh, to fund our endeavors. Oh, and I also like these tournaments. These like the Batanian tournaments. Two-handed swords. Hell yeah. Oh, so much damage. I love it. Cool. Make sure we bet on ourselves to keep our funds nice and high uh, as we are slowly draining them. Oh, we got... Oh, my God. It actually hit me. That's not good. Cool. Let's spam down. Come on, game, game. I'll hold him in place. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he just started a friendly fire me as well. How dare you, good sir? And should we keep on betting? Yeah, look at that. We'll make like five grand from just winning these tournaments. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. Ouch. Oh, my God. We can play as this guy. Vark can still win. Has one down. Oh, right through the face. Tully Footman. Damn, that was close. That was close, but we made it through. RTS camera allowing you to switch between uh, friendly units, which is like super nice. A little bit cheesy, I guess you could argue. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Cool. Our swing speed is just too good. Able to bring them down. Nice little duel right there. Uh, pretty easy tournament. Free grand. Boom. I'll take it. Free grand. And we got the armored bear skin as well. It's going to be a nice little upgrade uh, for our cape, I would assume. Uh, yeah, a little bit more of an upgrade. Um, I mean, it doesn't really... Like, the worn cape does look cool. Uh, it does look really cool. There's some good swords here as well. We could maybe try and pick up as well. I mean, these swords look really insane. But like, a simple bastard sword is, is probably decent enough. A thousand gold for that, I'd, I'd say, is good. These other swords like really good. But like that white halber knightly sword looks incredible, right? Um, so we'll probably leave that. Oh, the broad falc as well is, is not a bad one as well. That's, that's a decent sword. I might actually pick that up um, for now. Three grand for that seems completely reasonable. And you can just see like how much better these swords are. Uh, but, you know, this Veil House sword has 87 pierce, uh, which is kind of incredible. Um, also, it would not be a bad idea to maybe pick up a Warhammer as well. Uh, how big is this Warhammer? It's pretty small, but it'd be a great way of like knocking people unconscious of prisoners. And in a big battle, uh, that's good. So let's spend four grand on that. Let's do that. Let's sell this stuff. Uh, and we'll keep our, our food as well. So, we're down to 20, 26 grand, but that's fine. Uh, any recruits to have here as well? No, no recruits. I might go around and try and pick up, because I, I would love, like, the, uh, the Reach have, sorry, the Riverlands have some of the best archers in the game. So, finding some uh, would be, you know, incredible. And a nice little addition to my army. There you go. So, you got some Riverland recruits may upgrade into basically anything you want to. You can go down the Riverland route, you can go down the Hunter route or the Tully route as well, which is a nice way of doing it. 
Uh, and they're, they're pretty cheap as well. We're actually making some good money as well. Oh, our workshop's ramped up to 700 gold. And we're making 210 from a mercenary contract. An extra 30 gold uh, from these caravans. And here we go. Caravan, I spy, my little eye. We will hold this, this route right here. There's an 81 there. There's a lot of cavalry. I probably want to avoid that. I probably want to try and pin off, like, the... Yeah, I want to pin off, like, this caravan with only 58 men. That's going to be much easier for me to deal with. Yeah, it's going to be a lot, lot easier. Because, again, you know, I could fight with 71, but an extra 12, that's, like, a few less horses, a few less archers. Let's move in and take these guys down. Uh, we're going to annoy some people in the Vale. Uh, but that's fine. Oh, nice. We're in the, the Riverlands as well. Okay. We basically just want to close the distance as quickly as possible because their arrows will pepper me to no end. We could also maybe just try... Are they, like, coming to me? They are. We could just maybe hide as well. Let them get, like, really close and then just charge out from, like, under this hill. That's probably the play, honestly. Because they're, they're going to... Uh, like, they're going to keep on coming at me by the looks of it because they feel like they have a good chance. Let's just hide. And when they get really close, we just smash them. Their cavalry is already just charging as well. 23 cavalry. These are Knights of the Veil, so we need to be a little careful. Cavalry. Here they come. The javelin should absolutely smash them. Ah, oh, no. They back off a little bit. Okay. They, they kind of scouted me out, saw where I was, and then fell back. Okay, so they know I'm here, basically. Their archers are getting very close as well. Staying up. Okay, they're volleying at me now. Which is fine. Now if they don't see me, are they going to be coming closer? No. So we basically have to close like 100 meters on them. Honestly, it's not bad. We have our Warhammer now as well. My Warhammer is tiny. God damn. Question is, how do we approach this? We go in shield wall and just try and absorb it. Our shields aren't exactly huge. Can I try and bait them in, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna, my shield isn't exactly big as well, so. But hey, my girlfriend always tells me it's not about the size. It's about what you do with it. Our horse is getting here as well. Can I bait their horses in, maybe? Their horses are way faster than mine as well. Yeah, I think I managed to bait them in a little bit, which is good. Oh, my horse is so dead. Save me, boys. No, they're falling back now. Okay, we can at least move over here. The hill will still protect us here. And yeah, then we, I guess we just close the distance. Yeah, this hill should give us some good protection, only taking like half the fire. Let's just go, go, go. We're in shield wall. We should be fine. Maybe I can absorb some of the arrows as well. Yeah, shoot me instead. Basically, all we need to do is just like get engaged on them. And then it's fine. Okay, here they come. Okay, you guys should do fine. You guys all have spears. We have a spear rework mod on, which should, should make spears. Super deadly. Able to kill a handful of them. And the javelin should also just hammer them as they flee. Okay, form shield wall again. And let's push on them. Let's go. Oh, we've got another charge coming in. Probably should have brace of that. Let's charge, charge, charge and break these guys. There you go. Yeah, we're doing a good job. The Unsullied are obviously perfect for this, you know, fighting that spear combat. Just push, push, push on them now, I think. I'll try and cause some issues here in the front line by just charging into them. Charge. Okay, give them hell, boys. Where's Era as well? Era needs to get her ass over here. Yeah, well, we will cut down their archers like butter. Hopefully we actually gain a lot of butter from this. I need to make up for my really poor choices of buying tools earlier on in the episode. I know they were red, okay? You guys will be shouting at me, Jackie, they were red. What the hell are you doing? But in my defense, I, mean, I don't really have a defense. Also, Eric doesn't have a sword as well. We should definitely get that. Try and knock a few of these guys out for prisoners. We have our, our, our new sword as well. Or block that just in time. And maybe recruiting a few of these caravan guards will be a decent setup as well. 
seems like most of them are now done for. They obviously have a cavalry still left alive. Just trying to take out as many of these soldiers as they've run. Oh, cutting him down. There you go. The battle is pretty much won now. Only a few soldiers living to fight another day. Guys, that was a victory, yeah. So how many did we lose? We actually lost five Unsullied in that battle, yeah. I mean, these caravans are just not, like, what our armies are. Our armies designed to, like, hold, hold the line. Uh, what's better in the unit tree? So they've got 160 bows skill, and the Tullys have 200, so definitely the Tullys. They're probably more expensive. Uh, 17 to these 12, yeah. But we get the Tullys. There's some Tully Hunters. Uh, I can also do as well as I can also just set these guys like auto upgrade now as well, uh, which would be nice. Obviously, sort the boys out as well. Take some looters. Obviously, we make an upgrade into Andals. I mean, these guys aren't bad. But yeah, I'll probably take the Veil Cavalry maybe. Again, what? They've probably got decent stats. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Oh, and lots of loot. So let's obviously give Era a weapon because for some reason, Era doesn't have a weapon. A rusty steel longsword. How is that compared to mine? actually remarkably better okay and just lots of loot which is also pretty good okay era my love we'll give you that we'll give you the rest of uh, the rusty westeros sword is that better no but the version 5 it has a little bit less pierce but it's and a bit more cut but that's fine okay era is now equipped which is good are they probably better gloves for me yeah we'll take the medieval gloves which don't clip through obviously all the hall we're taking everything basically but i'm just seeing what i could wear they go better boots as well nice 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 uh, this is a little bit of a longer spear, but my current spear does more damage. Boom. And what's my horse right now? I have a sumpter horse. I'll obviously take... Why aren't we taking everything? Take it all. Overall oh, capacity, that's fine. What, what can we drop? I mean, we're right near Harrenhal, so we can just go there and sell what we don't need. Uh, which is actually perfect. Nice. So, uh, and that caravan, is it going to... It's probably going to escape, right? Yeah, I mean, I probably could just keep on chasing it. But I, I probably will make sure we finish it off. Um, scared of this stuff. Uh, buying some more horses wouldn't be a bad idea either. And boom, 3,000 gold there. Uh, we'll get rid of this stuff as well. Boom, boom, boom. We have some gear. So I'm actually going to keep a lot of this iron ore. Get rid of the pottery. Uh, the wine we've already bought. Silk can go. The tools will stay until I find a good price, even though we never will. 50 hardwood and 50 clay. Jesus, no wonder we're over our limit. Get rid of the flax as well. Uh, and let's do some smithing really quickly. Uh, probably will probably just end up making um, tons of thingies. So let's see. Era doesn't have any, and a Wyman does have a little bit. Okay. So let's just do. Uh, let's just refine some gear with Wyman or with Era. Use all of hers to make as much charcoal as we have. Same with Wyman. Obviously, I want to be using my character as best as I can. Um, and then we'll just start making some crude iron, which is also good. Uh, yeah, and then I guess for myself, I'll finish off crude iron, making some actual proper iron bars as well. You can see it's going down way slower uh, when I'm doing this, just because I've got a little bit of a better, more stamina uh, and some better gear. Yeah, that's not a bad start. We've got some good uh, good equipment. We can obviously next time craft some equipment from that. And then, uh, yeah, then let's go hunting again. Finish off this caravan really quickly. Hand over your goods or die. Give me a thousand gold. Sure, you guys can go. Uh, obviously, we're decreasing with a few of the lords in the veil, but that's fine. That is our goal, to hunt down caravans. And I wouldn't mind some more men as well, yeah. But we need to get, like, a good archer force. And, yeah, our workshop is making us a bank right now. It makes sense. We've got a bloody workshop in Castle Rock, but... Of course... Um, yeah, it's not good. And did Dira get any kills? So this is also one of the cool things about the uh, the new system we have as well. I can basically see, see all the kill uh, kill counts and all the new companions and stuff. Uh, and actually see, like, where our battle history is and, uh, you know, what companions get good kills, uh, which is really cool. Okay, well, let's uh, maybe go on the hunt for a uh, another caravan. Because, again, we get more money the more stuff we fight. The more influence we get, the more money we get. And I obviously I'm not strong enough to fight any of the lords. Because the lords will be having hundreds of men. But another caravan. Oh, there's a caravan battle right here. Yeah, they won. Perfect. But we just jumped them. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, you're good. Oh, is that the part? Oh, that's the party we just already attacked. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, we're going deeper into enemy territory here. 
That's probably a bit too strong. Like, the archers will just eat us alive. We need cavalry to deal with that, and we just do not own any of it. Could maybe head up to the north and see... Uh, has Castle Black fallen? Yeah, Castle Black has fallen. Okay, well, now my watch begins. And now my watch begins. Has anyone else gone to war since we've... Uh, we've been fighting? Uh, we can see. If it's the north of fighting, the Knights Watch and prevail. And yeah, that's it. Oh, the Westerlands! are now fighting the Vale as well. I would love to fight them. I'd love to fight for Westlands, I think, because that'd just be a really nice setup to, like... I imagine they pay so much money. I'm not sure how long I'm tied to the, the Vale for, if I can leave. Let me know in the comments. Can I just leave? Uh, can I just leave right now? And join... And just join someone else as a mercenary? Or am I tied in? Do I have to wait for my contract to be over? Let me know. Because I'm actually not too sure how that works. And Era actually has a weapon now as well. Which is good. Join me, Era. But one of the reasons why I really want to upgrade... Uh, upgrade my... Blacksmithing is because I'd love to forge like a legendary blade. I think that'd be a really dope way of approaching things. Come on, Nero. Let's get stuck in. Let's get some kills. Oh, my God. I just got one shot. Perfect. Well, that's uh, that's the hardest difficulty for you, I guess. Hoping nobody else dies. And again, at any point, if any, like, one soldier gets five kills, they, they instantly become a companion. So that's something to keep an eye out for, and it will obviously pop up and, and let me know. Can't believe we just got one shot, though. Sometimes, Bannerlord is just ridiculous. Like, they need to really sort out that other whole armor system in this game. Because uh, it is pretty messed up. I actually had to turn off as well, if you just suddenly wondered. I had to turn off Realistic Battle, because it was just making units route for, like, no reason. I don't really know why. It was fine, like, before the recent Bannerlord update. So maybe I just need to wait for an update on it or something. Because, yeah, morale just seems like it was a huge problem all of a sudden. Uh, when it shouldn't be. Like, and again, I don't mind units breaking, uh, but it was like two two of my units died and then uh, everybody, uh, everyone, everyone just routed, which was just like, what? That's a bit too extreme. And again, I would love the ability in Realistic Battle Mod to like tone that stuff down, like adjust it myself. I think that's just like really cool. Like allow the player to really decide what they want in their campaign. I know there's a bunch of really good mods that already do that, like a bunch of tweak mods and stuff. Oh, that guy's armor is dope. And into the final already. My god. We are blitzing these tournaments. I guess it makes sense when we, when we start off with like 80 stats and everything. Uh, I can normally take a lot of these crappy units uh, down. It's when you fight like lords who have like 200 in every single skill. God damn it. Why did I have to speak? Why did I have to say that? To be fair, he did just one-shot me, which is, you know, is what it is. Uh, that's fine. You guys want to buy my tools? We have some equipment to sell here, which we will make sure we do. Uh, no horses. And then, yeah, just the tools. Oh, uh, no. We have the ore. We'll keep that. Everything else looking fine. So, we make 900 gold. Again, we're, like, bleeding money, but not massively, uh, which, which is absolutely fine. What soldiers do you get from Harrenhal? Just more Riverland soldiers? Okay, cool. We'll grab some more of them. We, again, we just want these archers. We just want these archers upgraded uh, as quickly as possible uh which will be nice we also have this character here as well who's like a companion but he's not a companion it's through a mod called uh band of heroes um which is which is uh yeah something i had to turn off as well which is fine uh okay cool let's uh let's have one little sweep and then we'll go from there Okay, target acquired another uh, another uh, another caravan right here, which will chase down really quickly. Going to the north, uh, probably some good goods up here. It's actually pretty fast though, 84, and we're going 8.9. Why are we going so slowly? Uh, prisoners, that's what's really slowing us down, and also cargo capacity. And we'll catch them in the, in the swamps of the north. That's fine. And yeah, let's take these guys down. Some more goods for us to have. And we'll probably call it an episode. And then next episode, we can really think about... Um, we can really think about... Uh, we can really think about maybe joining some armies. Probably leaving the Vale if I can. And joining the Westerlands will be dope. Are they going to charge me? Oh, they're going to charge me as well, aren't they? The mad lads. 
Do we form a shield wall? We do. We just form like a really dense battle line like this. Archers here. Let them come, boys. Let them come. I don't think shield wall's the best. Javelins will cut them down. Oh, that's a brutal cavalry charge. We should do good. That wasn't bad. Remember, javelins will hammer them as they pull back. Yeah, look at the javelins go. That was good. Come on, hero. Let's go. My lord, glorious wife. Here they come again. Archers will probably move across. They're going to hit us in the back, but the boys should turn around. Don't let them escape. Let them get stuck in our ranks. This is, again, one of the reasons why I'd really love realistic battle mod. I mean, yeah, we have to push on them as well. We can't stay stationary. And their cavalry is doing exactly what it needs to do. It's like slowing us up whilst their archers hammer us. We have to push forward onto them. And yeah, their archers are just hitting us. Jesus, this is such a bad like matchup for us. It's just like all archers and we have no cavalry. Am I fast enough to catch these guys? Probably not, right? Yeah, that's fine. Going down is, is okay. I think we've got them now as well. Yeah, they're, they're going to retreat. There's no horses left. We've got men chasing down there. We've got like one horse here, which is going to be causing some issues. But again, we've got these spears. And I really hope Tail Worlds as well make it so that like normal spear infantry can brace. Like, why can't I like brace my spear like as if I was like this and I could like do the brace the new like pike brace why can't I do it with a shield as well like if anything a shield would be just as good like that'd be really cool this horse right now is running me down but there we go caught him and uh, again another bunch of oh my god we lost all our Tully hunters and recruits we lost five of them luckily we didn't actually lose any on Tully four were wounded but all our all our damage coming I mean that like, cavalry ripped for us like butter. What's even left? Oh, is Ira fighting? You go, Ira. I expect you to win that battle. She's 1v1ing right now. Man, imagine if she died right now. I'd be absolutely heartbroken. Wait, are you guys... What? Why are they running? What the actual... My soldiers are breaking. I don't know what happened there. Is my morale that bad? Surely not. Here, just get your ass over here. Man. Maybe it wasn't realistic battle mod that was cause causing the routing then. Yeah, look at that. I think maybe it's just this mod. I think it's just maybe trials causing the routing. There's so many of my soldiers are broken. 68 of my men routed. Like, what? They're unsullied. Is my morale bad? I don't think it is. My morale's 73, which is, I assume, pretty good. Um, I guess not. Maybe that's just a thing with a mod. Hopefully they adjust. They like, drop a little small fix there. Oh, a war mount. We'll take that. And we can wear this gambeson as well as our civilian clothes, which is nice. Some leather boots and civilian clothes. I mean, that's also not bad. Kind of like the look of the other one. It looks a bit more royal. Um, sheep, horses is all good. What's Era riding on right now as well? Uh, she's riding on, yeah, a pretty good horse. But yeah, a, a tire horse is probably... The best of the best. Okay, cool. Let's just take everything and go and drop these off. I mean, these caravan raids have been good, but yeah, 68 men routing there is absolutely insane. Let's head to the twins and let's sell our goods here. Probably not going to be getting the best price in the world. Oh, nice. Oath Keeper for 1,000 gold. Absolutely awesome. Nice. Just... There you go, Oath Keeper. <laughs> Valerian Steel is that cheap. I hope they do tie, like, I'm obviously going to give this back right now. I, ho I hope they do tie, like, Valerian Steel to, like, quests or something. Like, you shouldn't be able to, like, make it or just get it really easily. Like, I think maybe tying it to, like, a mission or something would be really cool. And uh, we have a lot of goods. God damn, these tools. I mean, luckily we have a lot of these tools now just from winning these battles, but still. Hides. Was a velvet pottery. We'll get rid of the, the sheep and food and stuff. We can just slaughter it and sell it for meat, but everybody has so much meat. And then we got so much hardwood now as well. Drop this hardwood down to like maybe 30. A bunch of iron ore as well. We don't quite need as much as that. Maybe 20. And we'll get rid of the wine here as well. Why not? We have some silver ore. Flax can go. 
That's good, right? We still have some, obviously, resources. Do we have any more mules? Maybe we'll pick up some mules as well. Let's pick up five mules. Maybe some five sumpter horses as well. Boom. Perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, well, money situation is looking good. We're actually making a little bit of money now. 420, hell yeah, uh, from a mercenary contract because of these raids. Uh, the army's okay. Uh, we we've lost five Unsullied throughout this episode, which isn't bad. Oh, we'll sell our prisoners as well really quickly. Hopefully, we'll make some good uh, good profit from these. Uh, five grand. Recruit eight Mercenary Guard. Let's do it. Because Mercenary Guard are actually pretty decent. They may upgrade into good cavalry. Oh, crossbows aren't bad. I think that cavalry is good, but I might get some crossbows with these guys. Because uh, I imagine crossbows will be doing great in this campaign. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you tune into tomorrow's live stream if you're watching this on the Sunday. If not, no need to worry. You can go ahead and catch the playlist down below in the description and watch them as if they're all videos. No need to worry there. Uh, I recommend just sticking on two times speed, sitting back and enjoying the ride. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.